Hello everyone, today we are gonna make one more video about the, our truck and I got uh, this box. This is a <clears throat> filter for the crankcast ventilation fil filter and uh, what, I, what I'm about to explain about this filter, uh, we have uh, I think two types of filter. One is uh, maintenance free, you just install it and run it, and one is like this one. This one is <clears throat> this filter, this filter is not maintenance free, you should replace it uh, about 60 from 60 to 100,000 miles every time and also if it's a uh, check engine light on you have high pressure in your crankcase you should replace it right now I'm going to remove my old filter which I installed it, it was uh, not serviceable it's been uh, maintenance free which I installed it but uh, both filter has a plus and minus and uh, I'm gonna remove the filter and uh, we going to uh, compare both filter and I explain and uh, I'm gonna explain which filter is better for using for your truck okay let's go to remove the filter Okay, this one is our crankcase ventilation uh, filter element inside. This is our case. It has a 8 millimeters, 8 bolts around. We're gonna remove them. Okay, this is our crankcase ventilation case. Uh, I'm gonna put it here. Now we're gonna remove this one. As you can see, this one is crankcase just bypass. This is has no elements here no filtration elements or separation of the oil and right now i'm gonna show here we have a bypass valve if your filter is clogged it's gonna bypass here and how how it's working from the front of the engine all oil vapors and fuel vapors going to the back of the case here and going through the ventilation and it separates uh, from the air separates a light particle of the oil and fuel and it's collected here and by gravity it goes over here and go to the uh, crankcase. When you install this one, most of them, most of your 
uh, vapors uh, goes outside and right now we're gonna talk about uh, the what's about this filter what, what what about and this filter right now we have a what I'm going to do I'm going to switch back to this filter because before I had this filter and I installed this one. I think, oh, I, I have will no problem to replace it or pay money for this one. <coughs> Why I, I did it? I think I'm gonna save money, not replacing and not worry about this. But uh, this filter has a some <coughs> bad side. What about uh, this filter? Is release so many oil? through the pipe on the end of the engine. And when you replace your oil, uh, when the oil is fresh, it's so many light particles in your oil and it's gonna evaporate and go through the pipe, uh, all engine from the bottom, uh, especially if your engine not new, will be in the oil and you're gonna lose some oil. And this is very bad part. about this filter what is good about this filter the all oil gonna collect it here and go to the bottom and your engine your engine from the bottom it's gonna be not dirty <coughs> what yeah and right now I'm gonna install this one and this one is gonna be this one is good only for the engine which it's very old and your uh, pressure in the crankcase it's too high and this is good for this one because uh, if you high, have a high pressure you're gonna have many problems with your turbo and uh, your gasket in the front on the back and gonna start to leaking and you should use one but if your engine is still okay it's uh, you don't need to use this one and, and right now I'm switching back because my engine is not uh, uh, so bad. Also, when you use this one, uh, this filter, the crankcase pressure is uh, so low. When you go on high altitude, you can see that it's too much coming from your uh, from your pipe. And also, when you install this, you make more pressure inside your engine, and it's also the less gases escape from the compression rings it's it's not big but it's very little but it's still escaping more pressure and you 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 might say you're losing some power too and i'm going to return back to this filter because this one is gonna keep my engine clean from the bottom also the i'm not gonna lose oil all oil which collect which evaporate gonna collect it here and drop back into into oil pan okay let's go Okay, <clears throat> right now we're gonna install the filter. Uh, most people remove this part, they remove the clamp, and they're doing uh, 
double job sometimes it's easier but I don't want to do this one I just gonna from top I'm gonna put it here and make sure the filter sitting in a place we don't want to to cut the gasket and right now we're gonna install this one this one is goes from the bottom it's gonna be easier like this See, right now it doesn't want to go. Okay, okay, what are we going to do? We're going to put it inside. Okay. Okay, usually you should not torque it too hard when you do it by your hand if you don't have a torque specification and you by your hand you will feel it this bolts has a limiter it's not gonna go far when you tighten down you feel it and when the, the gasket is squished you feel it it stop just tie down and put it back and right now what I'm gaining to put it back filter with elements uh, first my crankcase pressure is going to be more it's going to rise more what is going to help me if it, my crankcase pressure will be more <clears throat> my seals my seals main seals on the rear on the back when you have more pressure the lips gonna stick more to the surface it's gonna prevent for losing the oil from these seals also my oil when I change the oil the light particle oil not gonna just flew away on the bottom of my engine and all my engine gonna be clean from the bottom and <clears throat> and I save some oil and this one also it's gonna be cleaner when you stand next to the truck and it's running and no filter like this it's gonna be some mist flying around the truck this is for <clears throat> and uh, and I think this is the uh, that's it for for this video and I recommend that if you have a if you have no problem with crank crankcase pressure use with elements in gonna be cleaner and better but if you have a problem with your uh, engine like your uh, compre uh, compression rings losing too much air which going in your crankcase you should use bypass uh, not serviceable 
element it's not filter i don't know how it's called it just has some valve <clears throat> but even though this filter if it's clogged also it has a bypass uh, filter this case has a bypass uh, valve here also it has a, has a sensor if it's clogged it's gonna show but if it's clogged you should replace it right away okay i think this video explain a little bit about difference between two filter uh, with uh, <coughs> filtration elements also it's the it's works like separator separate separate the fuel with oil on one side and air to another side and uh, i think this video helps you to understand and if you like it uh, subscribe to my channel thumbs up okay that's it for now until next video i hope this video helps you and uh, please subscribe to my channel thank you bye